Philly film. Games. It's over. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Philly Film Games. We're Xenoblading a Chronicle like a motherfucker. So, so we we we're apparently filling out quests right now. A filthy wing. Oh, wait, that's not what you needed. That's not the vein wing I was hoping for. Yeah, you need teeth, right? Yeah. Maybe you have to kill a big Vang to get that, not a little Vang. Could be. Or it could be something where it's those little things on the ground. And... Yeah. Filthy wing. So... For a little... Yes! Oh, I'm ready to rumble! And, eh! And your characters actually heal in between fights. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah, as long as you're not constantly fighting things, you guys actually get their health back. Oh, he looks so... Whoa, level 8, that'll fuck you up. Yeah, that's a little bigger than I'm ready for. Wow, they're like all... There sure are a lot of them. It's like, we're wandering into areas I don't know if we should be in. Yeah, I'm like way past where I probably should be in the game. Yeah. yeah. Ah, fuck it. We don't have a walkthrough, we ain't doing... We're real men! We don't need instructions or a walkthrough! Fuck it! Yep, I'm just running. Whee! Although I should probably put on my leather pants I found. Oh, yeah. Don't mind me, Shulk. I'm gonna drop trail! <laughs> <laughs> now turn away while I put on different pants. <laughs> oh, she has... Oh, but you don't have anything. There we go. Leather bottoms. Did it actually change? Yeah, it changed the color of them. Interesting. Don't I look good now? Yeah. Watch me juke and jive. Juke and jive. Oh, they actually have slots to put shit in. Yep. I just don't have any gems to do it. Oh, you, oh that's right. You need gems. That's right. I keep forgetting this is like a weird Final Fantasy VII deal. Because, you know. Cause, why the fuck not? Yeah. Wow, you're way off the beaten path. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. He's like, ah, fuck it, I'm just going wherever. Yep, just running around, collecting stuff. Avoiding that guy. Yeah. Because he's just a little big yet. Rolling around, robbing banks all whacked on the Scooby Snacks. Da-dun, da-da-dun, da-dun. No, I already got the bonnet thing. I don't yeah, I was going to say, you took care of that issue. This guy, though. Oh, I'm ready to rumbo. I'm feeling it. In the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. We win. We win. Wow, yeah. Filthy wing again. I'm... I'm saying this because... You're going... Oh, you're just... Whatever. I see a shiny thing. I see shiny. I want to I'm always distracted by shiny objects. Dawn Hydrogenia. Um... God, where was I gonna go? Over there! Yeah, you're going over there. God damn, what's happening? So, there was this callback I got making. Uh, I don't know if you remember when I, when we were talking about Boogeyman? Yep. Uh, and I was talking about how, um, how I always freaked out about my, my dad's crawl space. Yep. I had to go in there this, this summer. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I went in there, and, uh, Proceeded to shit your pants. Actually, it wasn't so bad, because, like, here's here's what happened. Uh, my father's well was acting funky, so we had to fix it. Yeah. But it was it was still getting in water from the uh, rainwater and whatnot, so... In, into my pelvis. Oh, I got it's, a bang tooth, finally. Woohoo. Hot damn. And nine cuffs, whatever those are. And it's daytime. Oh, wow. So you've been out all night just... Just kicking ass. Taking names. Kicking bugs' asses. Putting them in jars. Stunning them. You know. Killing them. Well, whatever. Shit. Yeah. Whatever. Um, well, no. It, he... He decided to put up a gutter uh, near the well. Because he used to have, The house used to have gutters, but he got rid of them. Huh. But he kept the, the parts that were still salvageable. So I had to go underneath the goddamn... Uh, house and grab it. But luckily it was daytime, so I didn't see a boogeyman. Yay! Yay, no boogeyman. And it wasn't... 
wasn't nearly as nasty as I thought it used to be. My God, when I was younger, that place was like fucking scary and filthy and shit. It, apparently, my father must have had time on his hands because, oh, hello, that was red. I got a wedding ring. Woo. Yes, Eric, I do. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let Sonya know that, you know, your wedding's off. <laughs> yeah, two weeks. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you're gonna be... Gonna be hitched! All legal and stuff. Nope. Not like you pretty much haven't been living that life for how long now? Yeah. Just now it's gonna be recognized by the state. I can't do this one. Aw. Screw you then. Bye! <laughs> you don't have the commitment yet. <laughs> You don't like each other enough. Yeah, really. At least it's something where I don't have to, like, come back to the people that I got the quest from. It just does them. Oh, does it? Oh, that shit, that's awesome. I don't know if I should ever sell any of this stuff, because people seem to be asking for really weird crap. They're very esoteric about what they need. Yeah, I need some new crotch. Can you give me some crotch? Crotch. Dude, what can you buy? Like, I don't even know how much money you have or anything. I've got 2,700 bucks. Oh, okay. So I can get these. Let's say she can use them. Nina cap. Battle gear. Prototype film. Yeah. Metal gear solid. Yeah. Bikini top. There you go. Whatever what? you stand for. really? Oh, wow, look at that. Ladies bikini top. Special pads increase volume. Uh, what? Well! <laughs> I bet they do! It also gives me 10% more health. Wow. The defense goes up. I mean, everything does. Those would be really good. Well, yeah, but you don't have six grand. No, I don't, sadly. Shit. I sadly do not have six grand. Isn't it amazing? You, get you pay more. Too. Yeah, isn't it amazing? The more. The less clo the less fabric is, the more expensive it is. Yep. God. Yeah, I had to I had to go into the basement and was like, oh wow, no boogeyman, hot damn. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, it was fucking awesome. Like, huh? My dreams have been realized. There's no boogeyman. Of course, that was the same night. So we're putting up the, this. This is the crazy shenanigans that go on where I live. So we're we're putting up the gutter, and it's. Dude, just comes screaming in the hot in the driveway. He's like, "You want some black top?" Like, what? First of all, he asked me because I was I was closer. To, I, I was the first person he saw. He's like, "Are you the owner of this house?" I'm like, "No." Nope. You want some black top? Because uh, I'm not the owner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. That's what was going on. Because my father's driveway is all shale. And it's always been that way forever today. And he's he's talked about getting it, you know, black top finished, whatever. No. Yep. And uh, this dude just randomly comes flying in in his truck and is like, "We got this load of black top. We're trying to get rid of it." And uh, so he starts haggling with my dad, just ran randomly. And they, I mean, watching my fa like watch watching my father haggle with the guy is fucking crazy. Because it's just like, this dude, I don't know what he was trying to pull, but, I mean, he didn't have a whole lot to finish everything, but he had enough where he could at least pour in front of the, the garage, mm -hmm. and it was enough to, to, and it was, it was, it was wide enough for the garage and long enough, uh, to fill out, um, to, like, provide a parking space for the... For my father's truck and my car and all this crap. And I mean, just watching him fucking do it was amazing. Because it was just like, he... The dude was trying to get him to 13 and he just said, I got a grand, that's all I got. That's it. Yeah, that's all I got. And, uh, What are you doing? Yeah, I, I'm not looking at porn! Whoa. Ah, no. Help. Uh, that's a problem. Yeah, because anybody who picks up the sword can use it, technically. Yeah. But they can't control it. Oh, that's a problem. Goodness. 
Um, okay, yeah, she's not... Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Ah, uh, it's broken. What? What do you mean it's broken? Don't you care about me? I could have died. Eh, not really. The Monado can't cut people. More importantly, what were you thinking, Ryan? Sorry, that. Uh, uh, I came to ask a favor, but you weren't here. I got I bored, Nardo and, and you, lot, the Spice Channel know. here is not so scrambled. No, but derbider, derbider. still feeling numb. We have to be very careful. How do you know about? It's not a toy. I know, man. It'll kill us all. I to touch you. Uh, <laughs> do that. Sorry, but is it true? God, that was a thing the back then. Really can't cut people. The pattern in that circle. Or. Maybe it's a symbol. I think it shows which power the Monado has at the moment. Yeah, it's... You think it's... A symbol? Well, it sure as hell isn't cable, bitch! I find a way to increase the number of symbols. I should. I'm sure that's all very clever. But... Why were you more worried about the machine than me, Shulk? Well, I just... I just explained why. Uh, you know, because I'm asexual. Uh, sorry. Look, I have to force this heterosexual bullshit on you. Oh, fuck. And now he just opened something up. Way to go. Oh. Oh, damn. Your head's gonna explode. Yep. Here we goes. <laughs> Jesus? Damn, that's a gun. Um. Okay. I'm tripping balls. Yep. All of them. <laughs> All my balls are tripped. <laughs> I just shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, not anymore. Right. When you held the Monado, did you see anything? You know, saw my dick grow like three sizes. A blue blade made of light came out. Same as just now. I don't mean that. A feeling like time had stopped. And then time shit got stopped. real. So was it only me who saw that? That sounds strange. Uh, are you on are you on the wacky tobacco shulk? No matter how good a sword it is, that's what happens when you hold it. Looks like Dun Dun really is the only one who can use it. I won't let my brother use it ever again. Well, that's her not brother. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, she's not coming on to him, so... Sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, the way that they were anyway, talking about him before me, it sounded like maybe he was the dad. No. Oh. This has happened a few times before. I've been researching the Monado for a long time. They keep showing of... me shit. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> I learned things. I'm not comfortable with it. Ryan, what did you want to ask me? Have you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> you like movies about gladiators. <laughs> the colonel was pretty angry today. Did he hit you? Well, when we hit you, well, you're here nor there, really. Uh, when he hit me, he didn't recover. <laughs> He's in ICU right now. Well, you know, yeah. Now I have to go all the way to the Magmel ruins and back. So you have to go and collect the ether cylinders. That's the one. They use to power the mobile artillery. Oh, bother. I have to do things. Holy shit. And it seems like the fueling station's all out of stock. Is the mobile artillery that big machine that crashed in the residential district? Because, you know, I'm a girl and I don't... Oh, that was something I was going to say before. When we were walking between recordings, there was this thing that crashed into the uh, one of the buildings. Like, they crashed into a house. Yep. All right, so... I don't know if you've ever seen the... Like I've had students do these video, do these speeches where they wanna they, they they try to do a persuasive speech on telling why senior citizens shouldn't drive, uh, and they'll show things like that. But I've seen it firsthand. Uh, back home, back in the day when we had a Dunkin' Donuts, uh, our Dunkin' Donuts was this clear glass front, and it was just a huge counter, and you know all the donuts and shit, like old school, like blue collar yeah. place where you get donuts and shit. This older gentleman was driving in with an Oldsmobile, and he 
he got confused when he was parking what was the gas what was the brake and slammed on the gas and just put the Oldsmobile now this is like an 80 like an 88 Cutlass <laughs> Sierra something like that I mean he burst through the window I mean all the glass in the front storefront is shattered like everybody was out of the way all the stools which were like they were cemented into the floor they're pushed the counter is pushed all the way back to the wall it's fucking crazy when he did this and he was like this little scrawny old man like back then he might have been like 85 he's probably dead now oh yeah that's not insensitive to say Sam (laughs) (laughs) yeah he died yeah he's dead fuck it it happened like 20 years ago what is he Methuselah he's 105 then but yeah he he got confused and slammed on the gas so when he did it, not only did he smash through the window and push the counter, there was a garbage can on a cem- on a steel post in the cement in front of that. He bust that down too. Like he just from a like coming in at a dead stop, just <laughs> punched through this building. <laughs> and it was like, holy shit! Oh god, if I ever found a picture of it, it'd be so epic. It was crazy because I I was right down the street when it happened. And I'm like 12. And I mean, I just walked up and was like, whoa, fucking intense. Like, just devastating. Yeah, like all the people were there, like, talking to Earl or whatever his name was. Like, Earl, you're okay. I'm fine, I guess. Like, like, and then what do you do? How do you handle it? Why did my horseless carriage act like that? Like, what do you even do? When something like that happens. Do you even charge the old man for that? Do you, like... Uh, Is that covered by insurance? Like, what the fuck do you do at that point? Yeah, I don't know. That's knucking futz. Holy shit. So next time on Philly Film Games, more drive through adventures. One, two, one, two. Oh my god. (laughs) <laughs> it's basic training all over yeah, again. This is taking you back. Oh, God, don't give me those flashbacks. Actually, oh, so it's Jan just making fun of him. Oh, no, he can't do it. He almost threw his back out. I was going to say, he's apparently not in the shape he should be. <laughs>